So to help see what's going on here, I've actually made up a problem down here that sort of fits a similar pattern. We've got f of x equals the sine of this function inside the brackets. And if I want to take the derivative of that function, I have to take the derivative of this function right here, which is cosine. And everything inside the sine function stays the same. It's the cosine of this product of two functions. But then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. And so here's an example of using the chain rule. This is a product of two functions. I don't want to bother raising x plus 1 to the 8th power and get 9 terms and then distribute the x squared. So I'm going to use the product rule. The derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second. And that's what we're going to do here. To find f prime, I'm going to take the derivative of h, which I don't know what h looks like, so I'm just going to call it h prime. And everything in the brackets will remain the same, just like it did down here when I took the derivative of the sine. So g of x times k of x. But then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, the chain rule. And this is a product of two functions. So I'm going to take the derivative of the first function times the second function. plus the first function times the derivative of the second. There's what h prime or f prime equals. Now let's see if we can evaluate. We want to find what f prime of 1 is. So wherever we see an x, we're going to plug in a 1. So I've got g of 1 times k of 1 times g prime of 1 times k of 1 plus g of 1 times k prime of 1. And hopefully we're given values for all of these. g of 1 is 6 k of 1 is 0. g prime of 1 is 2. k of 1 is 0. Plus, whoops, I don't want to put a bracket there. plus g of 1 is 6, k prime of 1 is negative 6. And I'm going to draw a separator here. <clears throat> uh, 6 times 0 here is 0. h prime of 0 is 6. 2 times 0 is 0. 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. This is a plus. 6 times negative 36 should be our answer. 36, 3, looks like negative 216 if I did the multiplication correct. Okay, so all this is is a test of your knowledge of, of how to employ uh, the chain rule and the product rule. Uh, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.